Hi everyone, welcome to this Autodesk Revit 2019 tutorial on how to draw some different types of roofs. I've got a very simple structure. I'm going to go to my level one and I'm going to start with the first roof type, which is a hipped roof. I'm going to choose my roof tool from my architecture tab and I'm going to choose the rectangle input mode and I'm going to set the offset to 300. You will notice that I've got defined slope ticked on in the options and I'm going to pick the outside of my wall plate to here. And when you draw a roof in Revit, each side has a defined slope and then it has a slope pitch. But if we keep the four of them on, we click the green tick. If we look at my 3D view, you will see that it's put on a very simple hipped roof. If I go back to my level one again, if I create a copy um, let's say I go to level zero and I create a copy of this element and I'm going to copy this to here and then in this instance I'm going to create six more. So I'm going to create eight different roof shapes for you. So there we have our first hipped roof. If we go back to level one, let's look at creating a gable roof. So we click the roof tool again. Again, I'm going to click my rectangle input method and I'm going to set the offset for the position for 300. That just forms the overhang. So to create a gable roof, I'm going to select both sides of the roof and remove the define slope option. That will slope the front and the back. The green tick. So have a look in 3D and you'll see just to complete the product, I'm going to select both walls and attach them to my roof. So that is our hip, and that's our gable. The next one I'm going to do is what I would term a shed roof. So again, I'm going to click my roof tool, rectangular input, an offset of 300, and again, I'm going to draw a rectangle around my roof. Now, a shed roof is basically a mono pitch, so I'm going to select three sides of my roof, remove the slope, select the front edge, set the slope in this case to 12 degrees, click the green tick. And you'll see there if I attach three walls, I can attach them to the roof. So there's our hip, gable, and now our shed roof. The fourth one along is what I would call a salt box, where we've got two different pitches. So I'm going to go to roof, draw in a rectangle. Before I do that, I'm just going to set rectangle, set my distance to 300, draw the outline, select the both gables, remove the roof pitch, and then on the rear side, I'm going to set this to 20 degrees, select my green tick, and there I have a roof with two different angles. So again, I can just attach that to the top, and same with this gable wall, attach it to my roof. So again, we've got our hip gable, shed and then our salt box if we then look at what i would term a half hip or a barn hip dutch hip they can have various different names so we select this one again i'm going to go with the roof tool rectangle 300 offset and we create a variation on the hipped roof see there's my roof I'm going to edit this in 2d and what you can do or in 3d what you can do with these edges is when you select the property you've got an option through the type properties called offset from roof base and if I set that value let's say to 1500 select my green tick you will see that it will raise the distance there see that's how you can form what we would call a half hip if I edit this roof again, edit the footprint, select the roof edge, and then use this value, offset from roof base, select my green tick, and there I have my half-hipped roof. Then we go back on level one, and let's look at what I would term a mansard roof. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to roof, again, use the rectangle input, with an offset and I can draw the roof shape 
like that. So what will happen with the mansard roof is that it will pitch from the four sides, but what we want is we want a flat section on the roof. And if I select the roof and hold, you've got this thing called a cutoff level. And you can see you can link that to levels within the model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a section in so I can see a section through the roof. Let's see what's happening. And we put a very simple section through there, select the section and just change the scope. So it's just locking in to the center of the roof. And let's have a look at the roof view. So this is currently what I've got. And I'm going to add a new level. So I'm going to go to architecture. I'm going to add a new level into my building. I am going to make a plan view. So I'm just going to put a level in, let's say at that height, select my level. And let's say change the height to four meters. So if we look at this in 3D with this level now in place, I can select the cutoff level and say that's now linked, in my case, to level five. And you'll see that it will just cut off the roof exactly at that point. What I can then do is click into my level. You'll see I get a plan view of my roof. Then I just need to add a flat roof section where I've set the cutoff level. So I go to roof, choose a rectangular, no offset, and I can actually pick the points here and here. If I then select all the roof edges and tick off define slope, click the green tick, have a look at our 3D, you'll see that it's put in the flat roof section, then you can just join the geometry and it then becomes one roof element. Again, just depends, you could put in a flat floor, so that is how we put in the mansard roof. So if we could again go to level one and let's look at some of the trickier types. So we have a gambrel roof. So this is where we've got a roof edge. Where we've got two pitches on one side. So again, I'm going to go to roof, choose the rectangular boundary, and I'm going to draw it 300 from there to there. So what I'm going to do at this edge is I'm actually going to reference that back to there and change that value to 1500. So I'm just putting in a small roof. I'm going to select these three edges, remove the slope, select this edge, and let's say in this instance, increase this to 60 degrees. Select my green tick, and you'll see that if we go to our 3D view, we've got this roof edge. So on my level one, I'm going to put a section through this again because it's going to be, I'm going to need that to see what I'm doing. So I'll put a section through the roof, just drag the scope box back, and let's have a look at our section. So there's what we have. We've got this roof in this point. So what we can do at this point <clears throat> is to go on to level one. First of all, we can mirror this roof across. So again, I pick my draw axis and I'm going to mirror it across from there to there. And if we look at our section, it's currently what I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a new level at the very top of the roof to place my Net roof. To do that, I'm just going to use the annotate tool. I'm going to annotate from the bottom of the wall right up to the top of the roof. So I'm going to just use tab to find these points. You'll see that 5598 is my level. So I'm going to go to architecture, create a new level at that point, and set that level distance. You can see it's level six. Click on to the level six plan, and we can draw the roof shape to position. So now I'm going to go to roof. Rectangular boundary, no offset, and I can draw from these points from here to here. Set both of these as a define a slope. These are both at 30 degrees. So if I click my green tick, let's have a check in our section. And if we just increase this up, you will see that I've got my original 60 degree, then my 30 degree, and then all I need to do is simply move this roof down from there to there. If we have a look at our 3D. We now have our gamble roof attached to the top of the first one, and we can just attach to each subsequent roof shape. And if I just complete the other side, so again, attach it to the roof and attach to each individual side. So then we go back to level one. The final roof is what I would term a, a gull wing roof. So this is where I've got various pitches. So again, similar to the gambrel, I'm going to start with my 
roof tool. Again, 300 offset. Just here to here, select this edge, re-reference its side. And again, set that distance, let's say to 1500. Select my three edges, no slope. I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to set it 20 degrees. Select my green tick, use the mirror tool, and then I offset that to this position. Let's produce a section through it. Let's have a look at section three. You'll see currently this is what I've got. Again, then just do the annotate, align, select the points and lines. So three, four, two, nine. Add a new level in. Three, four, two, nine, level seven. Click my level seven plan. So let's just view the level below so I can accidentally, so I can actually see what I'm getting. So there's my roof. And then it should be a case of adding a new roof in. So go from there to there. No defined slope on the gables. And let's just make these, let's say 45. Click the green tick. And there we have our goal wing. So if we look at section three, it should just be a case of moving the roof down into position, back to our three, and then just project each one up to meet the roof. So again, select a wall, attach to a roof, and then attach to each of the individual sections there and there. If you wanted to create a hip on the top of the man <clears throat> or the top of the gambro, again we can edit that footprint, turn on the pitch, so it's 30 degrees, and then let's say offset that 1200. Let's click my green tick, and there you get your hip on the top of the gambro. So I hope that's really helpful. Just some different type of roof shapes, all with the standard roof tool. So join me again soon for another.